plus we know he has a ton of counters in his deck and by just no, okay and by just using the uh, efficient resources we had on the board we could just overwhelm him hmm this makes it interesting guess we arachnus web his merfolk looter he's gonna loot in response potentially then negate or cancel I guess it'd have to be can't or negate if you wanted to keep up the Crown of Empire mana. It's a good one for him to discard. Ah, Frost Breath. Okay. Um, now I think I'm going to risk it. If he has the negate, he has the negate. It's worth it. Ah, so it did work. Okay. So we're set. We're in a pretty good spot here. He has one card in hand, an active Crown of Empires versus everything we have on the board currently. Sure, see, or I mean, Harvest Serpent's not going to do much for you. Play the Basilisk, it's actually going to be able to do stuff against uh, the Harbor Serpent. And he's on a four turn clock. Looks like we might be able to actually get there, because we are in not a threatening position. Okay, and we'll attack him with the Sapperling and the Basilisk. He's going to block the Basilisk, and we're going to go for the win with a Titanic. Let's hope it's enough, guys. Alright, cancel. That's fine. He's got one card in hand, he's at two life. I guess he... Oh, well, we got it, guys, so... A little, uh, little bit of a scary game. I mean, I think he had the better deck overall, but we just had a good draw, and he didn't hit his fifth land for quite a long time. So, we got there, yeah. Uh, we'll see you for round three, the finals. Alrighty, folks, we are here for the finals of this M1284 draft. We are going to choose to play first, as usual. <laughs> and we run into another no-land hand. Yikes. We'll mold this into a very mediocre sixer. Um, do need to draw a forest at some point, pre preferably two in a row if we could. Or I guess any land and the Goblin Chieftain would be nice. Uh, yeah. Our opponent's maybe AFK, so we'll pause it until we. Alright, the opponent keeps his seven, and yeah, we'll keep our. our uh, six. It's funny how we made it to the finals with our deck. I didn't think our deck would be. <laughs> Fire worthy, or finals worthy. Too bad we had that turn two. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna trade here. Oh, he did not want to trade. Interesting choice. Uh, if he has the stave off, I'm just gonna snap incinerate in response, so we'll see what happens. Nope. Really needed to draw fours there. We would have been able to play the fire slinger and the skin shifter. Benelish veteran. Ah, we drew a forest. That's nice. Sure, we'll ping him. Yep, he gets in for three. Let's see what's up. Assault Griffin. No, Grand Abolisher. Hmm. Abandoned Phantasmal Image. Uh, sure. Hmm. I guess I don't attack and incinerate something on his turn. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, well, there goes our skin shifter. And we're going to get hit in for five. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, shoot. Can't activate abilities either. Yikes, I misread that. Pretty bad by me. Oh well, we get a 3 3 now. Boy. <laughs> I feel pretty pretty scrubbed for not knowing the abolisher. Uh, yeah, we're gonna trade here. We're on the back foot. We just need to get stuff rolling. Wow, infinite Benelish veterans, huh? Um, yeah, I'm gonna ping him. Get hit, get hit for five. We need to, start to need to draw a land and we'll be okay. 
until he plays a flyer, that is. That is a flyer. That is a Rectus Web. Yikes. Okay, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. We blow no, we're just dead here. Okay. Quick game. Um, had to mull again, so that was pretty bad, but. Let's see. Nothing really, I think, worth sideboarding in. The Rune Cloud Bear is not going to do anything versus attacking three threes. Uh, I guess the Wall of Torch is an option, but not a very good one. We're going to just keep it as it is, see how we roll. Hopefully the finals becomes a little bit more exciting than this. I mean, we've had to mull almost every game, I think. All right, back here for game two after losing the first one of this finals. Choose to play. Ugh, man, oh man. Slow hand, but I don't think you can mull this. I mean, I guess we got pseudo removal for whatever he plays, but... Ah, there we go, that's a nice one. Being able to play the companion and then Arachnus Web, whatever he plays on the second turn is really nice. But we would like to draw some land, or I mean, uh, <laughs> non-land spells from here on out, or non-land cards from here on out. Phantasmal image, sure. Yeah, we'll trade in. No point waiting, and with this way we'll get in that one extra damage while trading away. Uh, seeing as he's blue-white and he's land screwed, there's no point not playing the Cuddle Troll. Things looking pretty good for us here. Play a lot of fatties. We don't even have to worry about Day of Judgment either because he's stuck on two. Sure, divine favor. That's why we have Arachnus webs. So he just loses here? Unless he has like an O ring? Griffin sent it. Oh, that makes the. Yikes, that makes that pretty good. Uh. That's unfortunate. I guess I should probably should have attacked in with both. That would have uh, made him block, and he would have lost the Griffin Rider as a result, because the Griffin would have died. Oh well, this works. Hope he doesn't have a trick. Stave off for green. Okay, so he takes three and we lose our stampeding. But we do get a 3-3 three, three island walker. I think he's just dead here. Win on the back of screw. Do 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 do. Yep. Poke me for one. All right. So he could have some options here now, but he looks like he's F6 potentially. I don't know. Hopefully he's just dead. Stave off again. Yikes. Okay. Well. See if the shock for the win. He has to have summon, I guess. Yeah. All right, we get game two. We're gonna go for our third game in the finals. Um, our deck is okay. I don't think it's great. So <laughs> happy to make it in the finals. Um, naturalize. He does have some enchantments. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? No, we're gonna not run the naturalize. We'll just play it as it is. Um, Tectonic Rift is not good against his infinite flyers. And yeah, everything looks okay. So, we'll see you back for the third game. Alright, game three, our opponent keeps his seven, and yeah, we keep our sevens. Not bad, we got the first turn Fire Slinger. Hopefully he doesn't have the first turn <laughs> Elite Vanguard. Hmm. So, I think I go for the Shock here. 
I think in the long game I win, and he has like staves off, stave off and stuff, and I think that's just going to be the best for us. That's too bad. Oh well. Maybe I should have just played the Fire Singer. Hopefully he doesn't have. Hey, yeah, yeah. Followed up with another one. Offer the trade. Yep, not gonna take it, obviously. We're just gonna get owned by flyers. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that guy right now. Hopefully we can outrace him, but it's not looking not looking good for us with all our land. Let's see what he has. We're dead in what four turns? Given the current board state, maybe he has the divine favor or whatever. Oh, life link! What the hell? That is an interesting choice. Not gonna lie. So things are gonna be a little bit rougher. We do need an overrun, and we don't have one. <laughs> yep. Two more turns, and we're dead. Goblin Chieftain's good. Alrighty, that's fine with me. Goes to 8, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so he can't attack unless he plays a creature. We need to draw removal to win. Oh my gosh, timely reinforcements. Yikes. Yep. Alright, guys, we lost. Um, <laughs> seems pretty funny. Lifelink did us in. Um, our deck was, you know, alright, not the best. Happy to have finals, hit the finals with our, uh, the way that we mold. But, uh, yeah, not much we can do about this here. I guess we'll see you guys back for another game, uh, or another match, eventually. Um, for now, this is Numatanomi signing out.